You're watching Carolina and Company Live. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events. With your host, Amanda Kinseth. And Cecil Chandler. If it's happening in the area, then it's on Carolina and Company Live. And hello, everybody. Welcome to Carolina and Company Live. We're down on the Marsh Walk in Merle's Inlet. We're getting ready for a taste of the Marsh Walk. We're on the Pirate Adventure right now. And as you can see, the water is shooting and we're getting ready. We're going to have so much fun. Kids, look at all this gold. I'm talking about two days of fun right here on the Marsh Walk. Starts at 11 o'clock, runs until 8 every day. All kinds of fun. Take a ride on the pirate ship, the Bahama Mama. All kinds of stuff, and I can't find Amanda. <laughs> Where's Amanda? Cecil, I'm over here. You may be on the pirate ship, but I found my own little treasure. Take a look at this fresh fish. Seven Seas did a little fishing this morning, and you won't believe the food you will be able to get here this weekend along the marsh walk. So stick around for all the details. We have them coming up. First, let's check on that weekend weather. I'll tell you what, after that chilly start out there this morning, things are shaping up to be pretty nice. A few extra clouds will be moving in later on this afternoon, mostly sunny to partly sunny skies. Now, still below average for this time of the year with those high temperatures in the mid to low 50s, but certainly will take it with a little more sunshine out there. Now, unfortunately, the rain chances do start to move in overnight, more so toward daybreak tomorrow morning with a good chance for rain as we go through the first half of your Saturday. Rain chances staying with us even up through the midday early afternoon, but rain chances will gradually diminish from west to east through the midday afternoon and evening. Now by six o'clock, a few residual showers are possible along the immediate coastline, but it will get much drier Saturday evening and overnight as our area of low pressure begins to move away from the east coast and pull away the clouds and the rain along with it. Now our next chance for rain will be coming in late Tuesday and in through Wednesday as another system works its way up the east coast. So we have to hold off until the middle of next week before we see our next chance for rain. But a good soaking possible through the first half of your Saturday, drying out into the afternoon. Sunday, our nicest day, not only of the weekend, but even in through next week, our warmest day as well, with highs in the upper 50s, mostly sunny to partly sunny skies. It does get a little chilly out there on Monday and Tuesday, especially Tuesday morning with our wake-up temps down below freezing inland in the low to mid-30s for the Grand Strand. Rain chances start to ramp up late Tuesday when conditions are well above freezing and it looks like kind of a cloudy, raw, rainy Wednesday in store for us. As long as we get one nice day this weekend, certainly one to be out and about will be on Sunday. Weather is brought to you by A&I Fire and Water Restoration. And welcome back everybody to Carolina and Company Live. We're live on the Marsh Wall getting ready for the taste of the Marsh Walk. It's going to be exciting two days down here. Oh, some unbelievable food you are going to get the chance to try. Each place will have little sample portions, and if you like it, well, you can get the whole dish. So what do you guys <laughs> have, Chris, down at Wahoo's? What are you uh, going to have? Well, with us, we're trying to get more of the local seafood in here. we got some of the best fish coming right off our own shores. I have a grilled trigger marinated with cherry tomatoes, little um, seaweed salad, and basically what we're doing is marinating it for about two days, fire grilling it, and accompanied with that, we're trying to get some of our Scorton Creek oysters, which I top with a little panko, uh, fried bacon, and it's topped with a little bit of apple fennel salad on top. Ooh, wow, that, that sounds, sounds good. Delicious. Trying to bring something a little fresh. Like I said, our trigger fish, I mean, it comes from 45 miles right off the, um, our own coast. So it's just nice to try to bring some of our own local sustainable food. Oh, yeah, that's huge. Good. Good restaurants. All right, Emmett, what do you have over there? Bye -bye. What you got? Over there, we have some uh, Charleston red eye gumbo with uh, creek shrimp, Woo! salmon, and grouper. Ooh. Some baby back ribs and homemade cornbread. I know where I'm eating lunch today. <laughs> this is amazing, and this is what's so much fun about this. this be, you can taste all this stuff from 11 till 4 tomorrow and Sunday. Come out, there's kids stride, there's music all day long. It's just so much fun out here. Oh, yeah, there's a ton. You know, you're going to have to stop eating now so you can save room <laughs> so you can eat all this. But the good thing is it goes on for two days. So you can go up and down. It's a family-friendly event, and there's just a bunch of stuff going on. Actually, you guys have a whole little parking lot party over by Wahoos. Yes, we do. We're actually going to have a, a band playing live. We have tents. We have uh, a gym jamboree for the kids if you want to bring them down. We'll have vendors, uh, 
arts, crafts, face painting. We're just trying to do anything for so that the entire family can come down and enjoy themselves on the yeah. weekend. And don't forget, Sunday we're doing a car show. We had it on Saturday. We moved it to Sunday from 11 until 2, so come down and check out all the classic cars, too. It's just going to be a good time, a lot yeah. of fun. And Cecil's kind of, oh, you found a fork, huh? I found a fork. You, you know, got he, that he, right. You complained doing, earlier because you didn't have a fork. Yeah, we you started off with all this food and no fork, so we got them now. <laughs> so we'll be tasting well, some We'll be doing the food. taste test, and you can do the taste test all weekend right here. Taste of the Marsh Walk going on. Stick with us. We have more details coming up. That's right. Pass that over there, too. <laughs> Which one you want? Pass that one. Let's try. Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. We're live on the Marsh Walk, getting ready for the Taste of the Marsh Walk. Starts Saturday and Sunday, 11 a.m. Each place is going to feature your food. And Vincent from Drunken Jacks, what are you guys going to have? Well, we have a lobster risotto, topped with a black and trigger fish, a little micro greens. Our trigger fish is definitely local. And the risotto has a little kick to it with the, we hit it with a little lobster stock and Parmesan cheese. Um, Hope y'all come out and enjoy it. Oh, Look forward to seeing you guys. Yeah, that sounds delicious. Thank you. And you, this is—is is this the full portion or the sample portion? This is the sample portion. This is the yeah. sample portion. Sample That's portion. a good little okay. portion there. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh. Got to keep the TV ready. I, you know what? I'm gonna have to stop by every place. They're all gonna have so yeah. much food. And you know who else you can see when you stop down at Drunken Jack's is Bubba Love, and that's where Cecil is right now. Well, hey, look what I've got. <laughs> Oysters. All right, Bubba, tell us what we got over at the Love Shack. Oh, at the Love Shack, we got our shrimp and grits, we got oysters, we got ribs. Got a lot of great variety of food. A little bit of everything? A little bit of everything. All right, now you're going to show me something. All yes, right, let's go um, over here and let's do it right over here. What's going on this weekend? Yeah. Um, I'm going to do a little expedition. All right, go ahead. I'm going to teach the kids how to throw a cast net. There's a lot of ways of throwing a cast net, but this is Bubba's way. I'm going to put it <laughs> in my mouth. Oh, yeah. Look at there. That's a perfect throw. What you want to do? See that yellow? Yeah. You want it to go down? Make sure it's down. Exactly. Okay. I'm going to pull it back up. All right. That's one exodus I'm going to be doing this, this weekend with the kids. So you show the kids how to do that? Yes. All right. Yeah. Then. That looks pretty good. You did pretty good on that, Bob. Now you ask what you show them real quick. All right. Um, these okay. are my gloves when I pick oysters. All right. Hurry up. Got to do it quick. This is my rake. That's an old rake. Now, how long you had that rake? This is my father. This rake is 90 years old. Wow. Been in my family 90 years. Uh, and you can show them how to open oysters. Exactly. And these are Merzlin local oysters. They are clusters. Let's see. Right here, Merzlin. They are called clusters. That's called they all stuck together. Exactly. I knew that. Like a married <laughs> couple. <laughs> and we got uh, little neck clams fresh out of Merzlin. So just bring everybody out this weekend. Saturday and Sunday. Have some fun. Have some fun. That's right. We got a lot more coming up. You stay with us. We're in Merle's in it. This is where it's happening Saturday and Sunday. Starts at 11 o'clock in the morning. Get her done. It's the first annual Taste of the Marsh Walk this weekend in Merle's Inlet. You can sample fresh seafood, pasta, ribs, sushi, local oysters, and more with live bands, local artists, a car show, children's activities, and a whole lot of great food and drink specials. The fun starts at 11 a.m. and continues into the evening. So join us waterfront on the Marsh Walk in Merle's Inlet. It's a taste of the Marsh Walk brought to you by Miller Fortune, Bud Light, Seven Seas Seafood, and WPDE News Channel 15. Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. We're on the Marsh Walk, getting ready for the taste of the Marsh Walk, and there are so many things to taste. We're talking about Dockside and Creek Rats right now, and and I just have to say, I had this for breakfast this morning, and it was I delicious. Was what is that? I, I, I that? absolutely ate this for breakfast. Well, we got our mahi tacos. It's one of our spe specialties that we have there. Yeah. It's blackened with cabbage, um, our special boo sauce and cheddar cheese. Yeah. And if the spice is a little too much for you, you can get it fried or grilled. Oh, all right. <laughs> and it is so good. And, and we also have, obviously, we've got our awesome oysters and clams, too. You don't have to get them raw if that's not your forte. You can get them steamed. All right, you find any pearls in there? I them out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just checking. All right, now, look, what do we have here? This is Captain Dave's Dockside Low Country Shrimp and Grits. Hey, hey, I'm tasting this. You know I am. All right, tell me more about it. <laughs> it's made with andouille sausage, some tasso ham gravy. Oh, yeah. It's so served good. over stone ground grits. It's one of our specialties. Oh, lady, this is very good. Now, y'all got a lot of other stuff going on, too, then. We sure did. We have music during the day, both Saturday and Sunday, from 1230 to 4. We right. have another band on Saturday night playing from their Cranford Hollow. They'll be playing from 9 until 12.30 at night. We have the local artists out there, vendors, 
lots of arts and crafts jewelry. So y'all are ready. Y'all had to do a lot of preparation to get ready for this two-day oh, event here. We're I ready. mean, if you're not here, I don't know where you're going. Well, I mean, you know what, though? This is free. The inlet knows how to have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> we really do. I like to work as a team here. It's like this is another awesome thing that we do together. Halloween, July 4th. This is the best thing to come down here. Every, like, no restaurant likes to compete with each other. We're just a big family. Right. Well, you have the Marsh Walk and you just can go from one to the next. And it's so much fun. Now, what bands are you having to... Well, we have Michael Donald on Sunday, and then we have Root Salt Project on Saturday, and then we'll have like a bouncy house out here for the kids, and, you know, just, you know, right. main event. And then we got, obviously got drinks for the adults, and it's just going to be and blast. You, you can take a ride on the Pirates Adventure. You exactly. can go on the, uh, Bahama, the Mama Bahama Mama, Mama down here. Yeah, Everybody Bahama can take Mama. a ride and just have some fun. Bahama it's going to be a fun day. dollars ahead. It's starting all day. You get Captain Dave. Yeah. yeah, and if you've never seen it, it's a bright, colorful boat. I was parked <laughs> right there outside Dave's. That's outside. why they yeah. call it Bahama Mom. Now, I have to you. ask, because right. you work at Creek Rats, how often you take... do you eat this? A lot. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I can tell you why. All right. <laughs> Thank you, girls. We appreciate it. Don't Thank touch you. the food. All right. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be right back. We've got a lot more coming from Merle's Inlet. Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Mike from Dead Dog Saloon. and. You got to tell me, what are you guys going to have this weekend? Well, we're going to have some great food out here on the Marsh Walk. You, you've seen a lot already. But over at Dead Dog, up on the north deck, we'll have this um, scallop. These are seared sea scallops over a couscous with some pine Ooh. nuts and green onions and parsley. Wow. Then we also have the uh, Chilean sea bass with the fennel cream sauce and roasted tomatoes. And don't they look good? Yes, wow. they absolutely do. And we'll be do. making these two order right up on the north deck, right on at the Dead Dog, so you guys can come up under our tent and taste the food, and it's going to be a great day. Oh, it absolutely is. This food is just phenomenal. There's so much seafood down here. And we've got Wicked Tuna, too. We're talking about them. What do you all have? Well, this weekend we're going to be doing, uh, we have our snowy grouper surf and surf with a garlic creole shrimp over a wild mushroom risotto. That looks good. We have a crispy trigger fish uh, sandwich on a fresh beer, brioche bun, excuse me. Wow. And we have our yum yum roll with crab, shrimp, tuna, and fresh avocado. That's called yum yum roll? Yum yum. I've had it, yum and yum. it's yum yum. That's why you call it, it, it definitely yum yum. yum, yum. <laughs> all right, now, y'all have got a lot of food. Now, people, what you're watching and listening to, you're going to get a chance to sample all this if you come out here between 11 and 4. You know, you get to go to all seven restaurants, you get to taste all of the food. And that's what's so good. Such about a good it. opportunity. You know, a lot of us come to these restaurants all the time and we get stuck on our favorites, you know, and so that's what you want to get every time. But this is a good opportunity to try some other stuff. Find out that what you like. It's phenomenal, yeah. That's right. and, and bring the kids. There's a lot of room for kids. They got kids' games, right on the pirates, anything you want to do. It's going to be a fun day for that, Saturday and Sunday. And Sunday, if you're a car enthusiast, don't forget the car show from 11 until 2 on Sunday. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Good stuff. What do you guys Great have stuff. going on at Dead yeah. Dog? Well, we have uh, Nick Andalore will be performing tomorrow afternoon around 12, 1230. He'll be performing until about 4 o'clock. And then we'll have the uh, uh, Paul Grimshaw Band will be performing on Sunday afternoon. Nice. And we'll have live music on Saturday night as well. All right, who y'all got? Band. We'll be having a lot of great local vendors. Uh, we've got a lot of cool activities for kids. And we're proud to represent, or present, excuse me, our uh, Wicked Tuna Dueling Pianos. Dueling pianos? Dueling oh. pianos. We'll have wow. a Wicked Tune on the decks. So that's going to be so pretty we'll cool. So uh, we'll be partying all weekend, guys. Nice. Well, that's do you the play place the piano? to be. I do yeah. not. <laughs> if you don't have anything to do, uh, well, if you do, counsel it. You need to come down here Saturday or Sunday and make a day of it because there's so much to do and you can walk on the beautiful Marsh Walk and just check it out. It starts up at 11 a.m. and you can come out, eat a great lunch, and then you're going to want to stay because really the party continues all night. All day. All day long. You got it. All right. We got a lot more coming up. So Ma, start making plans Saturday and Sunday from 11 until 4, right here on the Marsh Walk in Merle's Inlet. All right, stay with us. We'll be back. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Look at all of that fish. We're talking about from Seven Seas, one of the main sponsors for this event. And Chris is with us. And Chris, did you catch all those fish this morning? Well, I'd like to think so. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, we've been busy uh, getting ready for this event. And uh, our local fishermen have actually caught them, those Cecil. Uh, they've uh, been out working hard all week, catching local product. Uh, We've offered some special pricing to uh, these restaurants um, so they can serve our fish. Um, well, that's on good. Taste of All right, now, over that over there, what are some of those fish in there? Just tell me what we got over there. Just uh, name a few of them. We have a local golden tile fish. We have yeah. a local vermilion snapper. Over we have here? a local black sea bass, local uh -huh. trigger fish local clams and local oysters, which you all be able to sample on the Marsh Walk. All right, now tell them where you're located down we're in Merle's Inlet. We're located on the uh, north end of Merle's Inlet on the business route. We've been in business 27 years, um, and we're open every day of the year except for Christmas. Wow, just like Walmart. That's right. We, uh, we <laughs> ship fish all over the place, too. Well, that is so. great, and it looks like some great fish there, too. And, yes, uh, sir. And, uh, man, and which one's 
the box for me and that one for Amanda. Yeah, um, all right. You can have whichever you want. <laughs> hey, I just we, gave you know, you know Chris, we go there to get our fish. It's some good Thanks stuff. Thanks so much nice for being fresh. with us. Amanda, Thank what you. do you got Yeah, over now, here, Josh, you all are sponsors of this event, too. Yes, we are. We are uh, we're better brands. We are more than happy to be a sponsor of the first annual you know, Taste of the Market here. We've had a great relationship here, you know, building the business with uh, all seven accounts. And looking forward to doing it for uh, many more years to come. So. And uh, and all seven accounts will find you know better brand features as far as uh, special prices on the adult beverages. So plenty of stuff for the kids going on out here, but for the bigger kids as well. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> and, and uh, invite everybody out to come out, have a uh, have a good time, and enjoy the weekend. Because you're gonna need something to wash all this food down with, right? Yeah. <laughs> <Sure. laughs> I'm like a nice cold beer. But this is just so amazing. I don't know if you can show all that food one more time. I mean, look at all of. It's just amazing at what you're gonna be able to sample out here, Amanda. I mean, I just. Look at it. I know. You can come and get all of this. And you can do this two days in a row on Saturday and Sunday. I can't think of anywhere else I would want to be than out here I'm trying, trying to all this out food. how I'm going to eat all of it. <laughs> I know we're going to eat a lot of it. I don't know That's if we're going to eat it all. That's the hard part about it. You can help. Eat That's right. said he'll help us eat some of it. Yeah. Well, then there's just so much going on. And it's going to be such a good time. I mean, you've got the stuff going on for the kids, the live music. A lot of kids. All day stuff. and night. Everybody's just having a good time out here. Yeah, I want to go out on the pirate adventure. That's so much. That's gonna look like so much fun to get shoot with water hoses and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, the well, they're, yeah, they're doing rides this yeah. weekend. The Bahama Mama yeah. boat has rides too. Don't think, don't forget about bringing the kids with you. They got bouncies. They got everything in the world going on out here. Plus the vendors lined up. Vendors will be all over the place. That's right. We're gonna have a lot of fun. The car show on Sunday. It's open to anybody. No cost to you if you want to bring your car out and show it off. We'll be right here at Creek Rats. That's where we're doing the car show from 11 until 2 on Sunday because Saturday may get a little rain in the morning. But that's all, just a little bit. Sunday's going to be a great day, too. Two big days on the Marsh Walk. Amanda and I'll be down here fishing and just hanging out. Fishing. Are, we gonna, fishing. are you going to take us out take fishing? fishing? Well, Actually, I've that. already been there. I've caught the fish with you guys. So. We can go back out fishing. All right. We can fish on the pirate boat. All right. I was right? just looking Bahama over there. Mama. Keith and uh, Brandon were eating some food I put over there. Uh-oh. Yeah, we got to wrap this show up and get out of here because <laughs> they're going to eat the rest of our food, I think. All right. Stick, stick with yeah. us. We'll be back in a minute. Yeah. So see right. Cecil can that go signal? get his food. What is that signal? <laughs> what is that one? It's the first annual Taste of the Marsh Walk this weekend in Merle's Inlet. You can sample fresh seafood, pasta, ribs, sushi, local oysters, and more with live bands, local artists, a car show, children's activities, and a whole lot of great food and drink specials. The fun starts at 11 a.m. and continues into the evening. So join us waterfront on the Marsh Walk in Merle's Inlet. It's a taste of the Marsh Walk brought to you by Miller Fortune, Bud Light, Seven Seas Seafood, and WPDE News Channel 15. Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. We're on the Marsh Walk getting ready for all this delicious food that you can come out and try on Saturday and Sunday starts up at 11 a.m. It's going to be phenomenal. And everybody, I want you to look at the camera and say, come on out to the Marsh Walk. Come on, come on out, out to the Marsh Walk. <laughs> and uh, we lost Cecil. I don't know where I'm he is. I'm down right? here on the Pirate. I'm waiting for him to crank this thing up for the Pirate Adventure. We're going to take a little cruise out. Kids, you're going to love this. So don't forget to tell your parents Saturday and Sunday you want to come out and ride this and play all the kid games and have a lot of fun. You know what I'm talking about? This is so cool. And they might have some real pirates, too. <laughs> hey! How about that? You need you a wanna, patch. I need a hat. There's not a one patch. big enough. I tried to find one. That's big enough for my head. <laughs> don't touch all that food up there, guys. I'm watching them. Okay? Uh, we've had a lot of fun today, Amanda. I have. I don't know about you. Absolutely. And we're going to have a lot of fun eating lunch. So, y'all, hurry up and grab some food before Cecil get ba gets back up here and uh, enjoy your lunch. Everybody, come out here to the Marsh Walk. Saturday and Sunday, it's going to be a blast. Bring the whole family. There's so much to do for you and the kids. Bands all day long and, of course, the delicious seafood. You can't beat it. We'll see you here this weekend. Have a good one. Say goodbye. Bye-bye. In Myrtle Beach, you're watching News Channel 15, your station.